What's up, Jabot here, and today we have a new video, and we have a couple things to talk about. Now, for our first topic, we have a follow-up to the A Boogie and Lil TJ situation. As I'm sure you guys already know by now, the Lil TJ had said that he was a king of New York, and he was talking about A Boogie and 6ix9ine, and then after that, he decided to go at Don Q and just apply pressure on everybody from A Boogie's label, which is Highbridge, and then he talked about A Boogie's baby mama. Well, in one of those Instagram videos, that's when Lil TJ did say that he was going to snatch himself a Highbridge chain, and that's when a few hours later, a video started to surface on social social media of a hybrid chain. I'm stripping me a fucking hybrid chain, mark my word, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. All right, I'm going to sleep my belly, nigga. Less than 24 hours, what's up? What are we doing? What are we doing? After this video was going around social media, everybody was saying like, man, is A-Boogie's people going out like that? What's going on? And A-Boogie responded immediately and he said, Cap, one of the bros draft slash lost his chain a long time ago while we dragged a guy and that's word to Melody. Dude got the audacity to buy it off a of random, shoot a video with it in front like he did something. Lost all respect for you, shaking my head. Stay true to yourself. So A-Boogie is disappointed in this entire situation and that's when a couple hours later, Lil TJ responded on his Instagram story and this is what he had to say. And today's a new day, man. I'm chilling, man. I I ain't, I ain't trying to argue with nobody today. I ain't never going, I ain't going to lie. Real shit though, I swear. I'm going back to the old little TJ. I'm not arguing, bro. This is why I never like posting a lot, bro, because I can't control myself. Start getting out of hand and shit. Like, for me, my fault for getting out of composure, y'all, man. May 8th, state of emergency, the mixtape dropping. You know what I'm saying? Like, be posting a track listing soon. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. Shit, man. It's all about the music, man. Fuck this beef shit, that's not good. I don't encourage it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't perfect, man, but, but you know, be all right. So Lil TJ is admitting here that he's gone out of control the past few days. We've seen that he was going at these females as well on his Instagram. Everybody on social media was talking about it because we know that Lil TJ has been kind of the person who's been quiet and just been focused on his music. But the past few days has been a completely different Lil TJ. And for our next topic, we have NBA Youngboy. Now, this is a follow up to the Squally Pope, a Baton Rouge OG who came out about a week ago and he was talking down on 38 Baby 2. He said that he didn't like the tape, that Youngboy needs to come back to the hood so he can have something better to rap about and that's when a couple days ago young boy did respond and this is what he had to say to squally pope how about i get to look and i see a nigga who i from beyond who i thought did my I thought this nigga would, would die like when i was like eight years old son man <laughs> <laughs> say this bitch tell this nigga on that talking shit about bitch what i'm saying boy man if i had to kill everybody man i'd be, I'd be broke man I'm trying, man. man that shit does, hey, that shit does crazy. You know, only the top long, bro. Top long, you fuck about all that shit. <laughs> nigga, <laughs> hey, nigga, they got the talking shit about the nigga. They don't know. I say, oh. I say be all making a nigga suffer like this. So Youngboy is not concerned about this man at all. He thought this guy was deceased. So that just tells you a lot about Youngboy and what he thinks about this whole situation. So it is what it is. And for our next topic, we have Bad Baby and Malu. Now these two have a history of beef. And at one point, Danielle had pulled up to Malu's house. She posted it on her Instagram live. She was outside her house and the police were called. It was a complete mess. And well, two days ago, that's when both of them were on Instagram live together, having a normal conversation. Why'd you do that, bro? KJ was calling me. I'ma just text it to you. Okay. Bye. Y'all so angry for no reason. We don't go. She ain't doing nothing to y'all. See, this is what I don't understand. When we beef. Y'all be like, why did I get you be cool? Why did I get you be cool? And then when we we cool, y'all didn't like each other. I thought y'all didn't like each other. I thought y'all was fine. The fuck out of here. Let me be me, bro. I'm happy. Living life, bro. I'm happy. What do I say? Living life, bro. I'm happy. Okay? We're gonna do it. Living life. I'm happy. Okay? And we be. 
Also, Bad Baby had posted Malu on her Instagram story, and she said, y'all stop, she look pretty, y'all leave Shorty alone. After people are going at Malu saying that you're trying to copy Bad Baby with the red hair, and they are also following each other back on social media. So it looks like they are friends once again. And for our final topic, we have Kodak Black. Now, in the past, Kodak has said that he's being mistreated behind bars, and yesterday on his Twitter, this was posted, and it says, we just heard from fellow inmates at Max Penitentiary, Big Sandy, Kentucky, in regards to Kodak Black's treatment. He couldn't call himself as he is not allowed phone or visitation for six months as punishment for the incident in Miami even though that has been the case in September they refused to give him credit for that time Friday night he was badly beaten while in cuffs by seven guards at Big Sandy Kentucky they struck him in the head repeatedly with a metal object then after one of the guards flicked his genitals and said you're not so gangster now you're gonna need bigger balls to survive we have notified his counsel and he advised he'll be asking for a full investigation by the Justice Department and the FBI man so Kodak Black got into some serious stuff and now they're saying here that the FBI is going to get involved with this entire situation so we shall see how things turn out because this is something that Kodak Black has talked about before about him being mistreated and that is it for this video let me know down in the comments what you guys think about these topics hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new hit that bell to be notified every time I upload a video but yeah I'm out